Hey everyone, this is John from JohnLoomer.com and John Loomer Digital on Facebook. Formerly I've talked about ShortStack, which is a great tool that I use to create my Facebook tabs on my Facebook page. So all of these tabs right here I have created with ShortStack. And, and one of the ways that you can use it, um, I mean it's great because it, it provides uh, some templates that you can work off of as a starting place. One of the most useful templates the short stack offers is around contests and promotions. Uh, as you know, it's a little convoluted. This is uh, the updated Facebook promotions guidelines, which is <laughs> even more complicated than I thought it was before. But one of the important um, numbers here is the first one. Promotions on Facebook must be administered within apps on Facebook.com, either on a Canvas page or a page app. Basically, they're just trying to remove all responsibility from Facebook and put it on a kind of a, a buffer, a third party, and that is the app. So one, that's why you really want to use um, a service like ShortStack for something like this. Um, so what you do, it's really pretty simple. Uh, assume you have a ShortStack account. There are various levels of accounts. You can you can create them for free, or there are other levels as well. But when you come to ShortStack, now I'm going to just step through the, the more basic way. Um, I'll occasionally point to some other ways that you can customize, but you can you can start these from scratch. Um, but I'm going to really start go with the template because I'm going to assume you've never done this before. Make it as easy as possible. So create tab from template, and there are actually eight different templates out of these 63 that are based on contests and promotions so we make it really easy so sweepstakes is one photo promotion and so what there's there there's a video one uh, story contest it's a bunch of them so let's let's do the photo vote contest click on that and uh, so this is what it looks like if you like it I'm cool with it it's just my template go ahead and click make tab so again, I assume you've used this before, but real briefly, all these widgets on the left are items that you can add to your tab. There's a whole bunch of stuff that you can throw in there. And if you want, if you don't need any help, you just want to add code, you can do that too. Plain text or code, you can iframe stuff in. And so your template here uh, was created with these widgets. So this arrow right here is that arrow right there. And as you hover over it, it'll be highlighted on this side. So let's say you don't like that arrow, you can just click the edit icon and you can remove it. You can select a different image, upload something else. You can replace that widget entirely with something else on this side. It's really pretty easy. Um, like this page to enter our photo contest. So you can say, you want to you want to say something else and win awesome stuff. You just do that there. So again, that's just a rich text Icon, uh, excuse me, here's text widget there. You could replace it with something else if you wanted. Here they have a widget for a header image. I'm just going to remove it. You just click that delete button. But again, you could have just replaced that with a different image if you wanted. So now probably the most important widget of all is the promotion widget. Uh, so here, this is all information that, if, that a user will provide. They can just log in with Facebook. Um, they can provide their, their personal information, email address, um, et cetera, et cetera. Say you've read and submit, and there's some rules that have not been entered. So you just click the edit icon for promotion. This is where all this stuff comes into play. So um, this is your form that's being used by default, photo contest copy. If you want to edit that form, you just click edit, and you can determine here what type of information you want to request. Again, you have all these fields on, this, on the side that you can choose from. You can remove fields if you want. You can edit them. Um, and so really, I mean, every, everything you need is right here. Um, your edit fields are here as well. I haven't selected anything. Form settings. So you can say uh, entrants get extra points for referring friends. You can automatically approve entries or not. You get email notices when someone has uh, submitted an entry, and um, 
get uh, you can customize you know who it comes from and what the subject line is now this as you can see some of the stuff was blank uh, required Facebook disclaimer this is nice that um, short stack provides this here uh, so that you know, takes away some work from you and also if you have any specific rules to your promotion you want to edit those there you can also add in a header and footer if you want so all that stuff pretty important um, for for the form um, so I'm gonna go ahead and leave this and go back to where we were so I'm just gonna assume that we're okay with that form um, and then down here it says like this page but this is actually for the vote for your favorite uh, photo below so we're, we're actually assuming a couple things here this this is um, viewable uh, right here it says like this page to enter our photo contest to win awesome stuff so I understand this is only going to be viewable to people who do not like your page that's why that icon is there same with this arrow everything else is only viewable by your fans so even though we see it all here right now that won't be the case in the final product so vote, vote for your favorite photo below you can edit that as well again this is just rich text just edit that up have it say whatever you want and then uh, you have the voting widget so again um, you could you could edit create a different form for that if you wanted um, you've got some ways of sorting this is where it's going to display the the other photos that are, have already been submitted so you can sort them newest to oldest least to most votes uh, you can have five per page, you know, whatever you want to put in there. And uh, you can indicate there's it's a certain voting round. So there's all these different customizations you can throw in here in terms of how it's going to look. So it's set by default to this one here. But, I mean, there's just so many different. You can do a custom layout if you don't want to choose one of these. <laughs> Even more layout options. I, it just, I, I encourage you, if you're going to run a promotion, to go through all these options because um, understand that this is just a template and uh, there's just you it's really not all that cookie cutter when it comes down to it you can customize the heck out of it so once you like what you got go ahead and close that out and uh, so I'm gonna say hey yeah, this is exactly what I want to do with my promotion obviously it's not but um, and you can also understand you can change your theme there are about 45 different themes you can change to here um, some really classy looking themes. I, I tend to go with uh, something pretty basic, but if you wanted, you can, you know, you can get a little, a little creative there. But uh, I usually go with the G or the P. It's really basic stuff. Or sometimes I even go with, you know, no theme at all. And if you really want to get um, creative, and if you know some programming, you can also go into the CSS CSS editor. I'm not going to go into those details because it is a little bit more advanced, but if, if you know how to edit CSS, it shouldn't be all that difficult for you. All right, so we're done. All you gotta do now is install the tab. Now, depending on your membership with ShortStack, I mean, it's a free membership that you'll only have this option for quick publish. Uh, there's a premium that would be custom publish option as well. I actually recommend this if you can. Uh, you, there's further customizations here, like in terms of uh, the, the name of the tab and the uh, the icon and whatnot. So go ahead and click that. And this is they make it pretty self-explanatory here as far as what you need to do. But go ahead and uh, click on this to open the Facebook Developer app. And uh, so as they say here, you want to create new app. So I click on that. And then it says here you need to provide your app name. So I'm going to say. Uh, my contest go ahead and click continue hey it worked all right so now I've got my app ID I'm gonna copy that because it's gonna ask for my app ID there go back and get my app secret put it in there change the name to Save my contest. Go ahead and save and continue. 
All right, so it's to basically close out that window that I just had open. We are going to return to this, but I'll close it anyway. Click Continue. And then uh, you choose where you want to add it to. I'm going to add it to my sandbox. All right, so it's added. So now if I go and I can guarantee you I know what's about to happen when I refresh this and I look for my tab, it will be there. It's going to be lacking some basic information. So first of all, there's no icon. I have uh, 72 free icons you can choose from if you'd like to use one of those. Otherwise, it's 111 by 74. You can create your own icon. You just go in here, click Edit, and Edit Settings. And uh, you can go ahead and change the, the tab image. I won't go through all that right now. But uh, so this is it, but when you click on it, you're going to notice a problem. Your app is not properly configured for the wider timeline format, which is somewhat interesting since you'd think that would not be the case. So you go to developers.facebook.com slash apps. And, um, oop, I'll go into the app, sorry. And so here's my contest. Click Edit App. One of the first things I recommend doing is editing this icon. You'll recall, um, yeah, I'll go back real quick. It's not this icon I'm talking about, but this one. So this is a square icon. I believe it's 16 by 16. Either way, if it's square, it'll be shrunk down. Um, so I recommend you go in and edit that so it's not that just generic icon. But what you also need to edit is this, down at the bottom, page tab, width. I don't know why it still defaults to 520, but go ahead and change that to 810. Save changes. And you can go back in here. I probably could have just uh, clicked on the tab, but it's okay. My contest. And there it is. And once again, since I'm the admin, I can see everything that any, anyone can see. Uh, but that's my contest. So now, uh, if we go back into this, if you want to go ahead and see the um, current status of your, your promotion, click Forms and Promos. And uh, see, so we just created this one. So we don't have any entries yet, but uh, if you did, you can click that to view entries. And you could also have short stack pick um, pick random entries basically as your winner and like I said earlier you can have rounds of voting so real quick I want to show you just kind of some examples of contests um, just so you get an idea a few of these some people have actually submitted it just for fun I don't think anyone did in the story contest but oh yeah, I, I did so basically I submitted a story um, you could vote on it if, if, I, if you liked it and uh, let's see, photo, con photo contest, see if there's anything in there. Yep, there's there, there's a couple here. If you go ahead and say, yeah, that's the one I like. Go ahead and vote, it, vote on it. You can even click on multiple if you want it based on your rules. You can view all, view, view your entries. So these are just all some uh, pretty cool options that you have with the Short Stack app to be able to create your own Facebook contest. For more information, go to johnloomer.com or you can like my page on Facebook at John Loomer Digital. Thanks.